That's one. All right. So I just went ahead and put a note in um, in guild chat, uh, reminding people that it's time for the guild meeting. Participation is required if you're online. So please join us in the guild hall um, at this time. All right. How's everybody doing tonight? Woo! Woo Pretty good. Alright, if I can get everybody to go ahead and uh, open the chat, invent. It's the third button down on the right, please. We will have some links to share with you guys throughout the meeting, so they will be posted up there rather than in uh, Guild Chat, because you can't really uh, click on links in Guild Chat, so this is, this is really handy for, for things like that. We've got a bunch of exciting stuff tonight. Uh, Les is going to be sharing some stuff with you about the updates on the recruitment drive. We've had some donations and got a lot of cool stuff to um, add to the prize pool and stuff. So that's really uh, going to be so exciting. There's some really great prizes in there. Um, Cole Fair has donated some really rare skins and stuff that um, are really, uh, really cool. Some of them I hadn't even seen before. So... Um, that's going to be fun, and uh, Bayor's uh, also added some prizes to the pool, so um, we really want everybody to be focused on recruiting, um, getting some more fresh blood for the guild and for the community. Alrighty, let's see. I do not have a link for um, the next uh, karaoke event, but it will be soon, um, and... Uh, I'll be, there'll be information about that on the uh, forum soon, so look for that if you're interested in karaoke, if you are new. Uh, karaoke is something we do as a community event. It did start out as a Guild Wars 2 event, but um, very quickly everybody else wanted in on it, so we made it... Uh, a, uh, a chapter, I mean, a community-wide event, and invited all the chapters. And so now it's something that we do about every six weeks or so. And uh, it's really, really fun because it gives us a chance to all be up in the same channel together. I create a karaoke channel up in the community lobby, so everybody from all, all different chapters can come and get to know each other and hang out together. Uh, and it kind of reinforces the unity thing, you know, because even though we are many different chapters, we're all pages in the same book. So um, that gives us a chance. It's kind of like having you know, a big family dinner with all the extended family under one roof uh, so we can all kind of get to know each other and stuff and share news and things. And it's really fun. So um, anytime we get a chance to participate in a community event, uh, I would encourage you to do so, whether it's karaoke or Team Fortress Classic Night or whatever it may be. Um, it's always fun, and plus you get to hang out with Ember Venom. So that's makes it extra, that's, that's like the icing on the cake, because he's a super cool guy. If you have not gotten to know him yet, I encourage you to do so. Um, he's, uh, you know, please don't be ever, you know, intimidated by his rank. He would absolutely love it if you would PM him and say, I just wanted to say hi, he'll swarm, you know, I'm new here, just wanted to get, you know, and he'd love stuff like that. So anytime you see him, he's usually on later in the evening in the quiet channel, just, um, just send him a PM, he would love it. Anybody have any questions about community events? Well, we've got a great turnout tonight. It looks great seeing all your smiling faces here. Everybody looks so great. Um, and Nylon is uh, recording this. Uh, it will be posted on our YouTube channel. Uh, we also recently got our own domain. So that's we're moving up big time there, guys. And uh, it's also broadcasting on Twitch TV. There's a link in his comment. Thank you, Nylon, for taking care of that. We appreciate it. There's the link he just posted for you guys. All right, if anyone has recently ordered t-shirts, there may be a slight delay. I believe they're changing vendors right now. So, um, But we do have t-shirts, swarm t-shirts available, and hoodies. Um, the hoodies are really awesome. I've got one, um, and this time of year, they're really, really cozy to have. Um, so uh, if you want to order uh, swarm t-shirts or hoodies, uh, you know, check it out on the forum. Um, let me get you a link for that. I've got a lot of stuff open. Okay, there's the link for the t-shirts. <laughs> I beat you, Nyland. Thank you. Um, so the t-shirts are $25 uh, plus $5 shipping. Uh, the zippered hoodies with the logo on the back are $44 plus $5 shipping. And uh, the way you do this is you go on to the, the main page of our website, and there's a little PayPal button there. Uh, you just click on that and make your payment, and then you um, send an email to Emperor Venom. You're going to need to tell him your PayPal name and you know what you want, a hoodie or t-shirt, what size it is for male or female, you know, which color style you want and all that, um, along with your, your mailing address, where to send it to, and he will get those shipped out to you. It kind of explains it all on that forum post, which you need to do. And there's even a link there for your, um, to send him an email. All right, any questions about buying t-shirts or hoodies? 
All right. Well, while you're here, I um, hope you're looking around the uh, guild hall in awe and uh, just kind of taking it all in. It's so beautiful. And uh, if you have not been here for a week or so, you're going to notice that there are some new buildings. Um, we've got a new market, and it was way bigger than I thought it was going to be. We've got a super cool PvP arena um, that is just out of this world. Uh, we've got a nice, beautiful tavern um, over there. So uh, you can always go into the tavern and hang out. Um, you can also get these enhancements from the bartender, and they're free. You don't even have to pay anything for them. But you can get extra experience or extra magic find or extra gathering bonuses for your characters. They last 24 hours each. So you can go in there and get those every day if you want them. Um, so it's pretty awesome. Um, and thank you to everyone who has been donating so very generously to the Guild Hall Fund. So um, there's a treasurer right down there where everybody's at. He's got the um, green shield over his head. I'll go stand by him right here. And the um, treasury, uh, it's kind of neat how it works. It will um, tell you what things are needed at this time. And you can donate them. And then as they're needed, they'll automatically be taken out of the treasury uh, when we do the upgrades. And sometimes uh, it will change. Like when we build something, uh, things will come out of there. But then more things will be needed and they'll be added. So you have to kind of check check back and forth. And uh, uh, sometimes it will change the things that are needed. Like um, it might not need, like one time we needed a whole bunch of carrots. And then once we got the thing for that, you know, we didn't need carrots anymore. So um, it'll just change. So you have to kind of visit them frequently to see what's needed. Um, but every bit that you have is appreciated. Um, also, um, I did want to make this announcement. Agathu um, has been our guild scribe, and he is taking a break. And in, instead, uh, Bayor is going to be our main scribe, and Woods is going to be a backup scribe. So instead of sending your uh, things like flax and elderwood and sand to Agathu, you're going to be sending them to Bayor. Um, and uh, he's going to be sharing some of that with Woods. Uh, they're both leveling it up. Uh, if you look on the um, guild roster, it's Bayor.5490. Um, and that's who you're going to be uh, sending those um, things to. And he's uh, currently leveling up scribing. Uh, we will be able to get some really cool stuff um, once we uh, get that scribing up and we can have some fun with things out in Worldly World. Um, he's going to be, do he's got one thing that's uh, upgraded recently to where he'll be able to have schematics to, to build something that makes the, um, the opposing side's supply um, depot blow up and explode. <laughs> it's like basically planting a bomb in it and destroying all their supplies, so that's really cool. Um, but there's a whole bunch of stuff we're going to get it to do as um, that scribing level gets up, so we're really excited about that. I just wanted to thank everybody who's been donating uh, to the Guild Hall. Uh, it's much appreciated, and uh, it's, it's making our home more and more beautiful every day, so thank you. Uh, also, um, since Agatha is taking a break right now, uh, Kara is taking over the lottery. Um, and if you don't know about the lottery, she's going to tell you more about it in a little while. But that is, uh, along with, we have a, a one-hour um, guild farming hour every week. It's on Tuesday evenings. And we go out, and everything we get, all the mats we get from that hour, they're donated. Um, and Woods breaks them down and puts some money in the guild bank. We made 32 gold uh, this last week because we were out in... Um, uh, South and Cove, and that usually nets us the most profit out there. Um, so I think everybody who participates in those nights, if you cannot make it on Tuesday night for that guild um, hour, then um, you know you can just go out whenever it's convenient for you and just like farm for an hour and whatever you get, just go ahead and send it to Woods and say, hey, you know, this is my farming donation. I couldn't be here during the farming hour, but I went and did just a random hour somewhere, and here's the stuff. Um, and even if it's not an hour or half hour, whatever. And uh, you can do that. So, um, but yeah, that along with our um, our lottery, those are the main, those are really the only two uh, sources of income we have. So everything's really kind of, other than that, you know, just uh, down to donations. And you guys do an awesome job with that. So I uh, just wanted to let you guys know about that change that um, Agatha is taking a break. And I have updated that. Um, like if you hit the guild tab, uh, it says in there, um, well, I had put Elijah and I, but I'm going to put Bayor uh, for the, the scribe mat. And for the lottery tickets, they're 40 silver each, and they go to Josephine.2851, and that's Kara. 
So I went ahead and updated that on the Guild tab. So if you don't know where to send stuff to, you can always look on there and it'll tell you. All right, so um, that's really all the general announcements that I have. Um, so uh, at this time, I'm going to go ahead and um, pass uh, the microphone to Bayor so he can share some stuff with you before he goes to put his little girl to bed. So um, Bayor, you're up. All righty. Uh, first thing I'm going to put out here is Valentine's. This is a link to the Valentine's Day card exchange. Um, we've been doing this for a couple of years now. Um, it's, it's pretty much like the holiday card exchange, um, except for we get those little tiny cards that you used to do in school, and however many people are on the list, you're going to mail it to Fate, and Fate's going to repack them in your self-addressed envelope. There's all the pertinent stuff you need to know on that link. If you're interested, PM me on the forums and I'll put you on the list. Second link there is Dinner in Guild Wars 2. Um, we're kind of working around for something in February. Uh, if you have any recipes or if you haven't seen that thread before, it's basically a lot of recipes and periodically we'll We'll set a night, we'll pick some recipes, everybody will cook them. It's kind of like the old dinner in a movie thing, and we'll do it on a guild meeting night. That way everyone can sit around and enjoy their food while we're yakking away. The third link I put there is a state of the game update. They just put this out a couple days ago. It's kind of talking about what they're going to be doing over the next three months. Um, here in a couple weeks, we're going to be here on the 26th. We're going to get uh, the Lunar New Year event come back with Dragon Ball which is fun. You have fireworks, decorations. So it's going to go on for two weeks. Um, they're putting a new raid wing out. There's going to be a major balance update for um, professions. That link there is the direct link for the uh, profession kind of blurbs of what they say, you know, we're doing to the specific class if you haven't seen it yet. Um, looking forward to that. I mean, there's a lot of stuff coming in, this, uh, in the next few months. Uh, gliding in Central Tyria. Um, they've confirmed they're going to be putting that in there. So there's some good stuff. Um, um, just a reminder to always look at the uh, the guild event lineup, uh, see what's going on. Uh, definitely try and help fill groups when you can. And uh, I think that's about it. I don't really have a whole lot more. All right. Thank you, Bayor. Um, Lonely, there is somebody up in the guest back. lobby if you want to go up and check and see if you can help with that reorientation. All right. Um, thanks, Bayor. That was awesome. And uh, good stuff there that Valentine is, uh, card exchange is really fun. It's neat to see all the different little Valentines. And these are like little, you know, like the little Valentines. They're not like the big Valentine cards. And these will all go like in a big envelope and I'll, I'll put them in there and send them all to you. Like you get a little pack like when you're in school and you get a whole envelope with all these Valentines and you can dump them out look at them. It's really fun. Um, so it's the more f people that participate, the better because it makes it more fun. Um, and, uh, you might even want to get creative and make your own. Um, that's also okay. You know, they don't have to be store-bought. So um, if you like to be a little creative and with paper and glue and stuff, whatever, make your own. Um, that's fine, too. But um, it's, a, it's a really fun thing to do. Alrighty, let's see who's up next. Alright, um, let's see. Uh, Kara is up next. Are you able to, is uh, Spade going to let you talk, Kara? For the moment. Okay, she's going to talk to you about the Lottery Trackbot at Center and also Worldly World. But you might want to link the uh, lottery for me because since my computer went down, I can't get nothing to do right. Okay, let me find it. Yeah, all that comes up on my screen is SinisterStorm.com. It doesn't work that way. Thank, Thank you, Neil. You. Yes, um, so I'm now taking over the lottery. Um, it, like she says, it's free silver, and it's uh, to Josephine. It's the only one that's Josephine in the guild at the moment. Um, also, uh, tripod. Um, we have three legs of the tripod, like you do for a camera tripod. One is Ventrilo. You have to be in Ventrilo while in-game. The other one is in-game participation, which is, and when we do guild missions, we love to have everybody if we can. And um, forum, partic forum participation. And vent and forum forums is... Stop. Sorry, he's trying to get my cord off my head. Um, is our main source of communication within the guild, within the community, because community, we always have community events like karaoke, team four characters, and things like that, and they're usually posted in the forums. You might want to keep your eyes out for that. And there's usually pretty good links in there, um, guides and stuff like that. And uh, Woods, uh, if I'm not mistaken, has been posting also what we need for the treasury. On another note, I just posted a link to some of the updates that they're going to be doing on the 26th. I think, yeah, the 26th. If you scroll down, you'll see there are some changes coming to Worldly World. One of those changes is every time you kill somebody and get a bag, 
we get a point per tick as a reflect of that, which it isn't at the moment. And another thing is rallying. We will no longer be able to rally five people off of one dead corpse. It's going to be 1v1, and you won't be able to revive anybody while if they're in a down-down state, that is, while you're in combat. Now, if they are not in a down state, when they're completely dead, you can still get them up. But if they're dead-dead, you can't get them up while you're in combat. And there's also talks. They, they're um, posting that World v. World will be getting a huge update sometime within the next um, couple months. And that's it for World v. World and Lottery and Tripod. Bye to you, Faith. Hi, thank you, Car. I appreciate that. All right, so let's see who we got next. Oh, next we've got Eli, and she's got some really exciting stuff for you about our um, our PP group that we've got going, and, and uh, uh, another cosplay event in the works. So lots of exciting stuff going on. Eli, you want to tell them about it? Sure. Uh, Hail Swarm. Hail Swarm. Hail Swarm. So I've been very proud of everybody that's been attending the PvP events. Uh, they've been great on Tuesdays right before our farming night. Uh, we've at least had a few people join each week, and sometimes we've had uh, more than one group uh, going out there to uh, fight people in the PvP arenas. And, uh, of course, we have a brand new PvP arena where we can have uh, some fun up there, and eventually we'll start up our competitions for uh, SPVP again that we used to hold about uh, a year and a half ago. And, uh, yeah, so uh, I keep it up and uh, keep joining us on our SPVP night, and uh, we'll have lots of fun together. Uh, and, of course, uh, what <laughs> Fate's really excited about is our cosplay event, which is getting into the works. This is going to be our third cosplay event we'll, where we'll invite the whole guild to come join us. Uh, we'll have prizes, uh, contests for looks. Uh, it's going to be based on Fashion Week, so it's going to be a little bit more broad uh, spectrum than uh, our previous two. And uh, as we get more information and the dates uh, figured out, we'll get it posted up and uh, get you guys all informed so we can all participate and have some fun. Back to you, Fate. Uh, it's 40 silver for one ticket and two gold for five, so um, that, that works out. I did mistype when I was typing in chat, but it is correct in the guild tab and uh, on the message of the day and on the form. Um, okay, thank you, Eli. Um, na next up, we've got Alessa, and she's going to talk to you about recruitment. Hello, everybody. All right, so I'm going to talk to you about the recruitment contest that we've got going on right now. Um, I'm going to post up the thread in the chat box and tell you about um, the awesome updates. All right, so that is the thread uh, to the link to the thread for the recruitment drive. Um, I'll run through some of the general details and then tell you about the awesome updates that we had uh, just in the officers meeting before the chapter meeting. Um, so we have a recruitment contest going. Uh, we're ringing in the new year uh, with a recruitment contest. It started uh, last at last week's meeting, January 7th, and it's going for one month until February 7th. Um, this can be a great opportunity to bring in some new members so that we can, you know, try out, you know, bigger, harder guild missions and, you know, farm lots more stuff for the guild hall, and it's going to be great, and we get to make lots and lots of friends while doing it, so it's going to be awesome. Um, some tips for participating in the recruiting contest. Um, we recommend that people, you know, try and get out there every day, you know, visit cities and starting zones, put some recruitment blurbs in chat. Um, in that thread, there's a link to the recruitment blurb page that I often plug uh, during the meetings. Uh, all the meetings are highlighted in uh, light blue to make them a little easier for you to see. The the really, really bright, in-your-face light blue. <laughs> um, that recruitment blurb page also has an FAQ for if uh, potential members ask you questions about the swarm and you don't know the answer off the top of your head. Uh, that FAQ can help you out. Um, if there's a question that they ask that you don't know the answer to, and it's not in that thread, uh, the answer is not in that thread, feel free to ask any of the other members of the chapter, the officers, KBK, swarm lords, we'd be more than happy to help all of you. Um, once you have recruited someone, you are immediately going to get a stack of 10 heavy moldy bags, which you can get T6 mats from, and a lottery ticket to the raffle for the prize pool. Now, this is where a lot of the updates have been happening. Um, to the general prize pool, um, I'm donating a couple of prizes that I earned in the recruitment drive last time, but I did not claim, uh, which is a choice of a mini from the bottom tab of the guild bank and a choice of a rare die from the bottom tab of the guild bank. Um, Bayor has just 
just donated a bunch of really awesome prizes. Um, and I believe I have this list all right. There's uh, just to tell you guys some of the awesome things you can win. Uh, we've got a cheetah char backpack set, uh, four mini devil dogs, a soldier's benthic aqua breather of the afflicted, which is a pretty valuable uh, underwater breather, um, a parrot mail carrier, a mini ho ho tron, a plush tibble backpack set, and an endless arid devourer tonic to the prize pool. Um, any of the specific prizes that I named, there are links to all of them in that thread, um, so you can have a look at those. Um, Colthair is donating several uh, exotic weapon skins as kind of recruitment milestones um, in addition to the prizes that are provided uh, by the guild, such as rare dyes, minis, inventory bags, stuff like that. Um, if we obtain our goal of five worker bees, uh, the cobalt sword is going to be added um, to the prize pool that's uh, donated by Colthair. It's a very cool sword, and even if you decide not to keep it, it's worth about four or five gold. Um, at seven worker bees, we're going to add the super hyper beam alpha rifle, also donated by Colthair. Um, an awesome looking rifle, and that's worth about 8 or 9 gold if you choose uh, to sell it instead of keep it. And then at 10 recruits, uh, moving to Worker B, we're going to add the Energizer, which is the precursor for the moot. Um, if you guys have seen Bayor play his ginormous guardian, uh, it's the mace that he has on his guardian. It's very cool looking, plus it's got some great stats, and you'll be all ready for the, uh, for the raids getting your, your gear all set if you're able to make that into a legendary. Uh, so yeah, so we've got some really awesome prizes uh, ready for you guys, and the Swarmer who uh, recruits the most people, that being at least two, um, will receive a special prize. More details to come on that. But yeah, so we've got some awesome prizes. Um, like when we go out to do guild missions and stuff like that, it's always great to have more people so we can do them uh, and do the ones that require 15 plus. So, um, let's get out there and recruit. All right. Yep. Uh, Eli says, just remember whenever you log in, hop into LA or Starter Zone or City, put up a blurb. Every little bit helps. Um, and uh, we've even got sample blurbs for you. Do you have a link to that thread um, handy, Arlesa? Um, I believe that I put it in the chat. I think it got eaten by the, the rest of the chat, but I can put it in again. 
Okay, great. Because we have um, we have uh, samples of recruitment forms you can put up, and then even uh, answers to frequently asked questions in case you're nervous, like, well, what if I put an ad up and people start asking me stuff I don't know? Well, you can look on there and, and find the answers, and, and uh, of course, you can always ask somebody here if you don't know. Uh, we'll be glad to help you. Right now, I want to um, go ahead and uh, open up the floor. I would like to remind everyone that this is your chapter, and you have a voice. You know, we want you to be heard. If you have any suggestions or ideas or complaints or diatribes or anything at all to share, um, please type slash raise in, um, in the chat box, and we will pass you the microphone. Uh, you know, if you just want, you know, if you had a success, whether it's in-game or in real life that you want to share with us, we're your sworn family. We want to celebrate it with you. Um, you know, uh, whether you got a promotion at work or you, you got a, made one of your ascended uh, pieces or something like that in-game. Um, whatever it is and you want to share it, uh, we will be happy to cheer you on. Um, and also, uh, if you want to give a shout-out to somebody that may have been especially helpful to you this week, this is a great time to do that as well. All right, so the first uh, slash raise is Wood. I just want to thank a Despion. Um, I had a tough achievement I was trying to do. It was a big fight, and uh, she was online. I asked her. She came, and uh, it was a pretty complicated fight, and she spent a lot of some of the time on the ground and absorbing damage, but it was enough for me to get my achievement. So um, I'm always willing to help others get achievements because I like doing them, and I really appreciate getting help and get achievements for me. So thank you, Despion. You're welcome. Good. Hell swarm. I think we're going to have to come up with something like a, a Swarm Spirit Award for each week or something. You know, if somebody's gone out of their way to show a uh, Swarm Spirit and help another Swarmer, we'll give them some kind of prize or something. I think that would be neat. Um, all right, let's see. Who's next up? Vladeline. Hi, Swarm. Hello. Swarm. So I also wanted to give a shout out to Desion. <laughs> I was like, oh hey, Wood thinks she's awesome too. So um, Desion and I, like, we were talking, and she found out that I'm still trying to quest for the Winter's Presence item, and I had already consumed like 5,000 of the festive juice boxes, and she was totally awesome. She goes, oh, I have some, and she mailed me some that she had extra. So I just thought that was really, really cool because those are hard to come by now that the event's over. So I just wanted to give her a big hail swarm and a thank you. So hail swarm, this man. Hell swarm. Hell swarm. I'm not blushing now. <laughs> you're definitely, you're definitely gonna get some kind of prize this week. I don't know what it is, but it'll be something. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right. Um, let's see. I would like to thank Arlessa because Arlessa helped me with the orientation certification program last night. We've got three participants right now um, who are going through the program, and she helped me with the uh, role play um, for uh, orientations, and it really helps for the people that are in the program to get to do some kind of mock orientations, um, you know, and she pretended to be the recruit and all that, so it was really cool, and she helped me with that, and then followed up by answering a lot of questions and giving them a lot of great information because she's a herald, and they were all three of us herald so uh, it worked out great and she was just a really really big help last night and I wanted to give her thanks for that oh thank you it was a lot of fun and I think they're all gonna do awesome I think so too so you get a swarm spirit prize too <laughs> and uh, Eli you're up next I'd just like to give a shout out and a thanks to Nylon for uh, all his help today with uh, recording that jumping puzzle and it was great fun and I really appreciate it my pleasure, you're welcome. Woohoo, how swarm. How swarm. How swarm. How swarm. Anybody else? Um, Nylon, you got it right? In chat, uh, I've re uh, resurrected the Where's Nizer game. Uh, there is a new picture on that uh, post. The rules are there, which is basically you can go alone or with friends and uh, find the location that I put there. And uh, it is it is uh, only for soldier bees and below, uh, and it will not be available to uh, KBKs and above, or any chapter officers, even if you're soldier bee, uh, until uh, next Wednesday. That's to give the other guys a chance to shot at finding this. This location is available to anyone level one or higher. And that's all I have. Back to you, man. Thank you, Nylon. That's awesome news. I love the words nicer game. 
guys, you can have fun by logging into the forum. Um, there's also a trivia question. You're still doing the trivia question, aren't you, in the event lineup? Uh, yes, I will be starting tonight, in fact. Awesome. So just for logging on to the forum, you can get gold. And I'll tell you how you can do it. You can go to the event lineup to make sure you're not going to miss out on any great events this week. And somewhere hidden in that event lineup, there's going to be a trivia question. The first person to hit reply and copy and paste the question along with the correct answer will win some gold. That's really easy. Um, and then if you go to the Where's Nicer thread, uh, you can go find that picture and, and uh, enter it on that thread and get some gold for that too. So you can just make money just by reading the forum. Um, how easy is that? And if you don't know how to post the picture onto the forum, uh, just ask me or any of the officers will be happy to show you how to do that. All right. Um, all right. Does anybody else have uh, anything to share before we move on? All right. Well, thanks to those who shared and thanks to those who helped out and uh, showed the forum spirit this week. I appreciate you all. And um, right now I'm going to pass the mic to uh, Valoneline and she's got a trivia contest for you. Hail Swarm, everybody! Trivia time! Hail Swarm! Hail Swarm! Hail Swarm! Okay, so how this works, this is open for all soldier bees and below. You can get one prize per week, so if you get a prize, go ahead and sit on your hands and let somebody else get a chance, and what the prize is, is 10 heavy moldy bags, which is actually pretty cool. And the rule is you have to type out your answer into the vent chat box. If you type it into guild chat and game, I'm not going to see it, so it won't count. And the first person that gets it correct gets it. Um, so... I'll start with an easy one. This is a warm-up one. What is the sixth law of the Sinister Swarm? Yeah, that's right. Make, make me dinner. <laughs> Just me, I got it. The sixth law of the Sinister Swarm, participate and contribute. This next one is a little more tricky. Name three of the Swarm Lords. Swarm Lords is a king and queen, duke and duchess, or a baron and baroness. I want you guys to name three of them. I know you can do it. There's one in channel with us. There you go, me. Thank you. That is correct. We got Queen Fate, or, or we have Duchess now. Sorry, I'm like all mixed up. I'm tired. Pregnant brain. So we have Queen Fate, and Duke Moose, and Kalia. Yep, that's correct. Don't mind me. I blame it on pregnant brain, but it's actually just because I'm tired. So good job, me. All right, and this last one's a little bit more tricky, but it can be found under the Sinister Swarm history. What chapter did Fate join the Sinister Swarm in? Arlesa got it. Warhammer. So good job, Arlesa, Neep, and Espio on this week's winners. Really good effort there, Real Gear and Wood. You guys were right, too. You're just a little bit slower than me. All right, thank you, Valonaline, and thanks uh, to all our participants, and congrats to the winners. You all will receive um, an in-game e email from Woods, and you'll get 10 heavy moldy bags each, and I hope you get some great uh, loot. Those contain T6 mats, so um, might get some goodies. All right, while Valonaline was doing the trivia contest, I was uh, doing some door prizes. The way I do that is I take a screenshot of event, and then I go over to random.org, and I roll three random numbers, and if it's a... Uh, if it's a KBK or a Swarm Lord, unfortunately, they don't get a prize, so I have to re-roll until I get someone who's a Soldier Bee or below. So I've got three door prize winners tonight, and each one of them will receive their choice of two gold or um, an 18-slot uh, inventory bag or a mini wasp pet uh, to follow you around. Looks like a swarm, so... Our first door prize winner tonight is Real Gear. Congratulations! Woohoo! Oh, wow, thank you. Okay. You're welcome. What would you like for your prize? You get two gold, an 18 slot bag, or a mini wasp pet? I'll take the uh, bag. Alright. Alright, uh, next door prize winner tonight is Minstrel. Congratulations! Oh. I'll take the pet. <laughs> the pet? Okay, alrighty. And we've got one more uh, door prize winner tonight, and it is Alchemist Luca. Congratulations. Thanks. Uh, I'll take the bag, I think. Alrighty, bag it is. I will move those up into the top tab, and Woods will get those sent out to you. Thank you very much. The door prize 
You're very welcome. The door prizes are just a, a way that we have us saying thank you for being here and for your participation. Um, we know you can be anywhere, you know, on Thursday night, but you chose to be here with us, and we do appreciate it. So the door prizes are just a little way of saying thank you. And um, they are. Are you back yet? Um, yes, that is, that does conclude our meeting. Um, we are going to be doing a, a guild mission, but um, you don't have to record that. Well, hail Swarm. Hail Swarm. Hail Swarm. Hail Swarm. Hail Swarm. Welcome to honor. Become part of our ranks and battle alongside of us.